What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and today we're going to be creating our first React app. So this is going to be pretty awesome. So what I'll have you do is open up a terminal, and we're going to say, well, let's see where we're at. We'll do ls. I'm going to cd into my desktop. I'm going to cd into my code ls. Perfect. So I'm going to start and build my project in my code folder. So what I'm going to type in is npx create react app and we're going to call this uh, basic embed. So go ahead and write that and then we'll hit enter. And here we're going to be building our react project. This goes through, you'll see, it takes a minute, gets everything installed but this is building a environment for us to use and it is pretty sweet awesome okay it is finished so what we can do is we can cd into the directory like it says here so if you do cd you can start typing and to, you can hit tab to auto complete that we're going to cd into that directory instead of yarn start we're going to do npm start and this is going to start our React environment. Let me pull it over here so you can see it. Here we go. You can see we have our React app, our first. Oh, let me get this so I can shrink it down a little bit. There we go. Wow, bear with me. I'm struggling. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We have a React app. So what we'll do is we'll go to Visual Studio Code. We can say open, and where we installed that was desktop code. Here it is, the basic embed. Let's open that up, and we'll come here into source, and you can see right here, it says edit source app.js. So if we come in here, app.js, you can see it says learn react here it says learn react so if we delete this and say we type hello world let's see what happens it says hello world it uses hot reloading so you can see as we write code it updates there's a hot reload so it's nice to see visually you can see what you're doing but what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything and just leave the div here. Inside this div, we can actually do, let's do an h1, and we'll say basic embed. If we highlight this, we can say format document, and that formats it with that prettier that we installed. What we'll do though is we'll get rid of some of the things we don't need so we can get rid of that logo. Well, let's open up this public folder. So we're going to hold down our command key. I'm going to get rid of the logos. We can get rid of this logo. We'll get rid of this, this, this. All right. So once we have that, we'll right click and we'll delete. And this is going to break some things. So you can see on the hot reload that something broke and you can see uh, the web vitals. So if we come in here to our index.js, we're referencing this report web vitals. We deleted it, so we don't need that. So we can remove that. Remove it here. App.js. So now we have our basic React project, and we're ready to go. We're ready to dive in to using the Tableau JavaScript API. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.